Well, happy Monday, and I pray that you guys had a great weekend. This past week, we were able to get away as a family for a little vacation, a little road trip, and so it was good to get away. But not a mere hour into the car ride, one of my kids says from the back seat, Are we there yet, Dad? And I paused, and I go, No. Well, as a student, you maybe remember as a young child asking your parents that question many times over. Or maybe as a parent watching this, you remember your kids asking you those questions or that statement and saying, are we there yet? Well, we ask that question because we are filled with excitement and anticipation of what lies ahead at that final destination. Well, I think about our life today and many of us are questioning, are we there yet? Is this going to end? Is it over? But maybe it's even a question, are we there yet? Looking at our final destination being heaven. Well, Psalm 84 uh, verses 5 through 7 gives us this little glimpse of this road trip uh, that we are all on today. And this is what it says. Blessed are those whose strength is in you and whose heart are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. Yeah, and as we look at that verse, we think about the journey that we are on. There are high points in our lives like road trips, and then there's those valleys that nobody wants to be in. And so as I look at this passage here today, we think about the Valley of Akkad, well, when I did some digging into that, there's some different scenarios. One is that that's a low place in the valley. And so when the early springs, um, rain came in the springs, it filled up these pools and they kind of dug wells to keep the water around because it was so dry. The other place that I saw about this place was it was a place for the city garbage. And so everybody just dumps it down in the valley. Well, we think about our lives and those valley experiences that we have are not good. Those valley experiences that you might be facing right now might be employment, might be the uncertainty of what's going to happen with the school and how if you have kids, will that play into your career and employment? Or maybe as someone who doesn't have kids out there, I know maybe you're thinking, man, I just want to get out and do things or go and see my family. Sometimes these valleys are long periods of time. But I want to look at the hope that was Right there at verse 4, this is what it says. Blessed are those whose strength is in you and whose heart are the highways to Zion. As you go through these valley days and weeks, I pray and I hope for you guys that your strength is in the Lord. That through him you can look and work your way up those mountaintops to enjoy those play, those things of excitement and anticipation, no different than that car ride that my kids were looking forward to and saying, are we there yet? The ride is long, it's boring, I know, but the end result is rewarding. Our end result in our life with Christ is rewarding because it's going to be with him in heaven for eternity. So I pray for you as you go through these days and weeks ahead, as you might be in the valleys right now, may you find hope and comfort in God as he guides you up to that mountaintop experience. Have a great week, guys.